Okay, we're here to talk about the Never Ever Mets. All right, um, I tried to start reviewing it, but I quickly realized that it was not a show that I wanted to review. I don't really like the concept. I don't know. Listen, I'm not even really a fan of online dating, so that's probably why I'm kind of like, eh, you know, because for one, I said this in another video, there needs to be a portion in there where they have to decide whether they're going to move into the house. Like, just going along and being like, oh, we was dating online and we're going to be living in this house. No, mm -mm. no, because no. I can see myself getting there and being like, mm. but you know what? I have to realize this is all for TV and this was filmed a couple of years ago and people are, uh, you know, a lot more open to being on TV doing these types of things. So some of it could have been real and some of it could not have been real. Like, excuse the hell out of my wrinkled shirt, y'all. Listen. Oh, well, this is what it is, all right? You know what I'm saying? This is living my best life. But anyway, I, you know, I just, I, I think because I don't really see it for online dating, uh, this show is just, it's kind of ridiculous, some of the stuff that's going on. Like, and I'm late with some of this stuff because, like I said, I kind of, I've been watching it, but I just haven't been doing any reviews because, like, what are we saying? Like, I don't know, like Aaron and Diamond, right? And I, was, I said this before too. Who made them like the elders in the house? Like all of y'all are in the same situation as far as meeting people online and trying to get to know them. Nobody really is above anybody in this situation to be able to give advice, right? You need to be paying attention to your own connection, especially after he treated his, her friend's sister like he did. Like he did not have no self-control. No, I realized they probably provoked him too, but at the same time, he didn't really think too far into it because he should not have let himself get that far gone when he was talking to that lady like that, okay? Um, and then, like, telling Aaron's father <laughs> about his girl, like, dude. But I realized, like I said, this is a TV show. I could be commenting on something that's just in the script. But, like, he also proposed to somebody else while he was talking to to Diamond online, so ah, uh, mm, mm, mm. Chris, it's so irritating to watch Chris because Chris is just a dick. That's it. Chris is just a dick. Okay, like Chris got into it when Chris got into it with Millie. He ended up calling her a slut. Like he he just <laughs> no. And then he said something like, um, when a woman doesn't like you and they don't know you, it means they think you look good. Boy, if you don't, go sit down. No, no, no. <laughs> and then I said, the older Aaron, he just seems like he's a controller to me. Like, he wants to have control of the situation, no matter what it is. And he is gonna, he also seems like he will say what you want to hear. Because he said he liked, he, it was nothing that he didn't like about Diamond. So, I don't know. That just feels like he will just say anything that instead of being his, saying his real feelings. Like, yeah, he didn't have to say anything bad about his woman to them, but he could have just been like, I'm not sharing that with y'all, but don't say it's nothing you don't like because nobody's perfect and we don't like every single thing about every single person. So, anyway, that's that. Um, a lot of people had to talk about their past traumas and that is honestly probably what brought them to, to, to choosing to be pursue a relationship like the ones they were trying to pursue or even just to pursue the TV show and look like they were trying to pursue these relationships. I I, I, I don't know. Aaron and Jody. Aaron does... Okay. Jody does not like Aaron. Like, this is like a prime situation of somebody that just was like, I'm about to go do this TV show. And then that's where that's that's where it ended up. She does not like him, um, but when she did talk to Dr. Ali, it did seem like she had a breakthrough. So some of this stuff could be real. I mean, I, you know, it's this is this is the mindfuckery of it all because what's real and what's fake. But the 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 key thing to it is the reason why reality TV is so interesting is that. We're all people that are just trying to figure shit out and we can relate to a lot of these situations, whether we know somebody like this or whether we have gone through something like this ourselves before. So that's the thing that keeps you coming back to reality TV because 
you just never you just never know what you're gonna see that's gonna remind you of something that you've been through or whatever and make you relate to the person or make you repulsed by the person right because it reminds you of some behavior that you've seen before so that's why it's all intriguing because we all tune in to all of these reality shows because it sparks conversations you know what i'm saying it it gives you a chance to learn about other people um and we like the drama we like the drama you know what i mean so i guess we're going into what like a um i guess they got like one more season i guess they got like one more episode or something are they doing 12 episodes or i don't know does anybody know how many episodes are going to be for this uh show okay the one thing i do like about this show is the role of the therapist on the show including them was a great idea all right and there was um dr romany was on there in the beginning um and she has a youtube channel she does a lot of talk about like gaslighting and narcissists and stuff like that dr ali is a mental health professional so i think that is great that is the best thing about this show because otherwise it would be kind of like like how bad girls was when bad girls first came out i remember watching that and i remember thinking where are the authorities like what is going on so we would have just been watching this show with people who randomly met offline and living in the house together. So they had to have the therapist thing in there because they just had to. And so that's the best, that's one of the best things about this show. I love to see it, but it's like, if a person is there for TV, then they just gonna keep, they're not gonna be real. So who, who even knows, you know what I'm saying? But some of these therapists have the knack to see through the facade, which is where those moments come from that we call like reality TV gold when we have a real reaction that none of them plan to have happened, but happened and we got caught on camera. Okay, so sometimes that does happen or whatever, but um, but I do like the therapist's roles on the show. Chris's friend was a way bigger dick than he was. i just go ahead and say that, but that also shows kind of, hey, Chris, Chris, this is who Chris be hanging around. This is how Chris probably thinks a little bit too. I don't know. So then there was the thing about Shay confronting Joss about... The, okay, so going back to Diamond and Aaron, right? They were busybodies. So much so that Diamond told Shay that Alexis said that Josh was trying to sleep with her. Then they have camera footage of them all being in the same room and he going out into the hallway. And nobody know what happened after that, but they did go out. So who knows? But see, the thing is, Shay is probably there for, for real. If Alexis was there already just for TV, I mean, she might have, you know, gone off with Josh. Josh already had a baby, you know, meanwhile dating Shay online within this 12 years. So I don't know, girl. Shay, I would explore that shit. I would explore that shit. But Diamond needs to stop being a busybody. Like, girl, no. I don't like the fact that they got to play that game where they asked like all those anonymous questions because one, these people are getting to know each other, right? And none of y'all have time to be involved in somebody else's stuff, but since everything was out in the open, you know, maybe somebody saw something that another person could have missed. I, I get that, but it did not really, it did not really do well. And then you can see Aaron over there telling Diamond what questions to write down. Like, sir, mind your business. And the question was to ask Shay, how does it feel to be controlled by a man? And you, sir, come off as a controlling man as well. Okay, I listen, I don't know. I could have it all wrong. I'm just a viewer, okay? I'm just telling, I'm just going off of what I saw, okay? Oh. I don't even know where we're at. I guess uh, Shay's sister, I mean, no, uh, Diamond's daughter comes. She gave her approval. Shay's sister comes. And she didn't even tell her family about this whole 12-year relationship. So, I mean, you might as well went and had a baby, too, because you wasn't telling nobody about him. So, I, it, it's all interesting. And then this is like two years ago. So, are we going to see a reunion? When was the reunion filmed? I gotta really catch up on some of these interviews because I did watch a little bit of Aaron's interview with Kamisha or whatever. But like I said, Aaron thinks that he controls everything. So, you know, whatever. Um, this is, I don't know, like these interviews, like I saw the interview with Dominique and Alexis. Well, I saw the interview with Dominique after the first episode came out or whatever. But like this was, this is two years ago and it's not really the same kind of, um, 
when we watch Ready to Love, we want to know more about the characters. We want to know more about the men, more about the women, women, right? With this show, there was not the same intrigue there. I don't know what it was. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then it was like two years old. So it's like, why were they holding it so long? Like, I don't know, guys. I don't know, but... That's why I stopped reviewing it because I was just like, eh, what am I doing? But in other news, Bel Air is coming back and I um, really like that show. If y'all not watching that on Peacock, you got time to go ahead and binge the first two seasons because I think the season three comes back in August and I'm going to be talking about that um, when that comes back up too. <laughs> I watched uh, Perfect Match because, you know, I like the little Netflix game shows and stuff and when they ended Love is Blind, uh, the last season of Love is Blind, they revealed that two of the people were going to be on another Netflix show called Perfect Match. And so this um, season was all about people who had been on all of the Netflix shows. So Brighton from the Squid Games was on there. Dom was on there. There was a whole bunch of like familiar faces from other um other Netflix game shows. And they're all there to play this Perfect Match game or whatever. And uh what's her name from uh love is blind micah messy ass micah is on there and she is still messy micah okay like it's just amazing how you know the personality trait is still there so it, it's just it, it's interesting but perfect match is good i think the next episode comes out on wednesday um but yeah, so I'm I'm back and you'll notice that my content is changing a little bit. I'm still going to be talking about reviews and stuff on TV, but I will be talking a lot about our overall well-being. I'm a woman that is over 40, all right? I'm almost 50, okay? And my focus in life is how I feel, um, you know, because that matters uh to that matters in everything that I do, okay? So if I'm not okay, then I can't go to work. I can't, you know, be there for my family. I can't do the things that I want to do. So I like to focus on myself and how I can be better every day. So that, that's going to be mindset. That's going to be nutrition, right? Eating better, transforming habits, changing habits and stuff like that. So that is what you'll find over here. And we will be talking about trending topics and, you know, stuff on TV and, you know, all the people that are, you know, in the 40 to 50 range, like the world looks a little bit different to us, right? Some stuff that's going on right now is complete bullshit to us. We like, who is doing that, Right. This Krishan and uh, Blueface thing, like case in point, like what is happening? You know what I'm saying? So make sure you subscribe, share it with all your friends that are women over 40 that's trying to transform their habits, that's trying to talk a little shit about what's going on in social media, some of these TV shows and stuff like that. Get in the comments below, share your thoughts on what you think about this Never Ever Met show, okay? I tried, I tried to review it and it just didn't happen like that way. So y'all so y'all get in the comments below and let me know because I know I haven't been around to even talk about it in the chats or anything like that. So I don't even know if there's any outside drama going on with this. Like what's going on? Y'all got to fill me in on this, okay? So as usual, I'm your girl Demita Joe and I'll see y'all in the next video. All right. <laughs>